Hello everyone. I want to get a quick little review out on this set I just picked up today. I'm a little on a time crunch, so I didn't really set up my normal review setup, but I wanted to get this video out regardless. So I did get the Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter today at Shields for 60 bucks. So yeah, about a week early. Um, they only had one left on the shelf. It looks like people, other people in my area had uh, picked this set up early. So this is a pretty weird set. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be 100% honest, but I definitely think it's better than I was expecting, but I had pretty low expectations, and I'll kind of explain why when we get to the ship. The figures aren't too bad. Um, they fit perfectly fine. So we have the Mandalorian, and for the first time, we get a face print. You can kind of see that there. The face print is really good. I did get this random like hairpiece from my collection that... I might just keep on this Mando figure. Kind of like, it looks black, but this is more of a dark brown color in reality. Um, it's just not picking up correctly with the light. But I have so many Mando figures with their helmets on. Another two of them in there. That I want to keep one displayed without his helmet on. So yeah, I think that hairpiece works pretty well. And again, it's dark brown, so it's not black. That would look a little weird. Um, next figure, brand new minifigure here is Peli Moto, Motto, and she looks really nice, um, flip her, oh my gosh, her legs just came apart, I was trying to show the alternate face, there is the alternate face there, and her hairpiece is brand new as well, um, I believe, and literally her legs just flew off, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll discard her to the side. We get Grogu, of course. Um, pretty standard at this point. We've gotten him so many times, but, you know, he fits here, obviously. You need him in this set. And probably my favorite part about this set is the BD droid, which is so tiny. Hard to see, really, but, um, yeah, just a really great mold. As you can see the back here, you can kind of have an anti stud there same with the bottom that's not focusing but yeah you can for example put him down like that and he'll fit on a stud and this is really great honestly and i'm excited to see if they make like a new print for the bd1 that's supposed to come out this summer i'm assuming they'll just use this but change the markings to red but yeah those are the minifigures it's great to get pelly um She's a figure that I was assuming would come out at some point since she had a pretty decent role in Book of Boba Fett. So, yeah, those are the figures again. Um, and here is the Starfighter itself. So, feature-wise, you have a compartment on the front here that you can take off and fit Mando's jetpack in. Um, I don't want to rip it off him now, so I'll show you. You can throw his helmet in there if you really want to have it off, which I might do. But yeah, you can keep, I believe you can fit his dark saber in here as well if you take it apart. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty nice storage space in there. Um, right in front of it, you have the cockpit itself, which Mando fits in um, without his jetpack. So I'm not even going to do it, but he fits in there. Um, you can see a nice little control panel. I'm trying to get some light on it. There you go. I really like that control panel, um, really reminiscent to the um, control panels they had in um, episode one. And then behind Mando is, of course, where you can put Grogu, so you can flip that open, and he has a little stud there, little area just to kind of sit down and um, enjoy the ride. And the f uh, final feature of this set is the... Um, what do you even call this? Just the engine in the front. You can push it down. And as you can see in the front there, there is a spring-loaded shooter. So you can press that down and it shoots out. Um, the engine on the front here is a giant sticker, which I don't know if you can tell. But the top right corner of mine is kind of chipped, which was weird. Um, I don't know. There's something about my sticker sheet in this set that was just a little off. You have another sticker on the front here. And overall, the engine detailing is sweet. It's really nice. Um, 
here's the bottom you have a back engine and yeah i mean the set looks generally nice like if if i hadn't seen the show i'd be pretty happy with this set but i gotta say i think that this set is a little like they, they dropped the ball a little bit in my opinion um i think it's a little too large at least compared to a minifigure um it's definitely smaller like minifigure um it's larger than minifigure scale so a minifigure scaling to this would be way too small um and it just doesn't look enough like the actual ship in universe obviously they i don't expect them to chrome it out all the way but it just doesn't even look shiny but i like it for what it is um i just i don't know i'll probably end up building a custom one if i'm being honest so i gotta say if you like the lego model i would definitely wait for a sale maybe 40 bucks 45 bucks because this is inevitably going to go on sale but for what it is right now i don't think it's worth 60 although i'm happy to have it early the bd droid is super nice to get again this is my favorite part of the set i don't even know if it'll focus but yeah it doesn't want to but yeah i don't know i just have mixed feelings of this set and let me know how you feel about it in the comments below um again if you like the look of it i think it's a great set it's it's got good size and um building techniques in it so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one goodbye